My name's Alan Leverett, and I'm publisher of the Arkansas Times. And what you see here is my night job. Uh, I live on my great grandparents' farm in North Pulaski County, and I've been farming here for about 25, 30 years. And um, when I was at, when I was at ULR, one time a friend of mine told me he was going back to England, Arkansas, to farm, and I said, "Well, that sounds very, very dull." I imagined him on a tractor going back and forth, sort of like mowing a giant yard or something. And I didn't realize at the time just how creative, how challenging, what skills are needed to really do a good job at raising vegetables and flowers and produce uh, for people to eat. So I have a real appreciation for agriculture and I try to live it here on this farm. This is my it's a 96 foot long hoop house with uh, hydroponics. It's tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes being raised hydroponically. I've got another hoop house over here that's all, everything's inside. And then we've got about 500 tomatoes that we're planting today that uh, uh, is going outside. And I don't, I don't, I do, I don't till anymore. Uh, everything is with turkey manure and hay, spoiled hay. Everything is covered with spoiled hay. And that's, that's, my, that's the mulch that I use. I use no-till because I don't want to destroy the structure of the soil whenever I, can, whenever I can help it. So I have a real interest in that. And so I've been really excited about bringing on an agricultural report to the Arkansas Times. Now, when I was at the Gazette back in the 70s, 71 to 74, uh, we had an agriculture editor at uh, the Arkansas Gazette, and the Arkansas Democrat had an ag report. It's the largest industry in Arkansas, employs thousands and thousands of people, and it produces more than anything else that we do in the state. Yet, we do not have a single ag reporter, not a single full-time ag reporter in Arkansas. This whole area has gone unreported, and you wind up with idiots like me that have these weird ideas about what farming is, because they don't get a chance to ever read anything or see anything that, that actually educates them about agriculture. So that's what the Arkansas Times is getting ready to do. Uh, we've got this boy named, named Philip uh, Powell. He's coming, he's raised in the Delta, graduate of uh, Hendricks College. Uh, he is wrapping up his master's degree right now at uh, Medill School of Journalism in Chicago, one of the best journalism schools in the country. Gets his master's degree and he starts at the Arkansas Times in July. But here's the catch. We got a $25,000 grant to pay half of his salary for Report for America. Okay, they help recruit young people into journalism. We got to raise the other twenty-five thousand, and we've raised thirteen of that twenty-five so far in our first week of trying to raise money to get this ag report written here. And we need your help, so we're asking you to consider donating to pay Philip's salary for the first year. Report for America is going to pay half of it. We got to come up with the money for the other half. I don't know if you remember the Campbell, but that's that pesticide, that herbicide that turns to gas when it gets really hot floats over other farmers' fields and kills everything that it comes in contact with. A few years ago, we had two farmers. One man sprayed his crop with it, it turned to gas and went over into his neighbor's crop and killed everything he had. They got into a fight and one farmer killed the other. It was covered like a police beat story. It wasn't an ag story in the minds because no one knew anything about agriculture. They, heck, they probably didn't even know what herbicide was. But one man killed another. It was, it, was, it was covered as if like two farmers shot it out on a dirt road. That was it. It wasn't a police story. It was a, it was a lobbying story. It was Monsanto. It was a legislative story. It was an agriculture story. It was a science story. But no one was equipped to search to, No one was equipped to cover it like it should have been covered. But one of the first things I'm going to have Philip do when he gets here is I want him on the camera story. Because of what we wound up doing, the first thing plant board banned it entirely. Monsanto goes and starts doing their lobby. Next thing you know, well, we're going to let it go until May. Then we're going to let it go until June. Well, what happens, the hotter it gets, eventually it turns to gas in the heat. So you can do it in the cool weather, but you can't do it in the hot weather. Now you can do it till July. Now, where did that come from? Well, we're going to find out, and that's what Philip's here to do, and we're going to try to bring you those stories and more about agriculture here in Arkansas. It really is interesting.